Okay, welcome. Thank you, everyone. This is the March 16th meeting of the Town of Situate Board of Assessors. In attendance, I have Steve Gard, John Danahy, Joe DeVito, and Jackie Mullaney. I'd like to start to call the meeting to order and maybe get a motion to accept the minutes from our last meeting. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Steve, aye. Got that done. Okay, uh, I guess we now move on to any new business we might have, Joe. Uh, nothing new to report. We've begun the inspections. Um, we're gonna see a lot of growth at Seaside this year. Uh, my guess is more than last year's $400 thousand dollars in new taxes so probably another half a million additional taxes but that's figured in our estimate for new growth for the year but they're going fast up there what do they expect occupancy to be by july 1st i believe my my last discussions with uh david buckley was about two-thirds two-thirds completion wow that is moving fast yeah, so we've we'll, we'll probably sketched about 70 or so of the units so far. We still have the townhouses on Hatherley, and they just started building on uh, Diane Terrace and Benjamin Lane. But Thumb Away is complete, Brand Boulevard's complete, Lois Ann Court will be complete by July 1st. And Wendy Drive just has one building to be put in. Good. So we're getting there. Great names, thank. <laughs> right, it should have come up with something more original. Wendy <laughs> Drive, Lois. Hey, Joe, what about the uh, Situate um, Stockbridge Landing? Yeah. Uh, I noticed those are actually being built and um, when's the expectation that they're going to come online? Uh, this year. Uh, we've sketched everything on Sandy Hill Drive except for one complex, uh, one duplex. I mean, um, they're averaging a value of low sixes uh, that, because they're selling in the high, high sixes right now. The next street that they're going to build, it's not Sandy Hill. Uh, but there is a, you know, a second phase of 30 units and they're marketing in the low sevens and, you know, and on up. Obviously those are the market ones, not the uh, affordable housing units, which are about, you know, half the size of the market units. But you, you're going to see 20 or so units come on at an average value of say 625 in another uh, 10 units or less, uh, come on. I don't know what the affordable price is, but it's probably about half that, probably in the two to three range. And um, that will all be growth this year. Good. Cool. And uh, are we seeing any uptick in the uh, counter service? Are more people coming in now that town halls? No, not, <laughs> not really. I mean, Exemptions are due April 1st. So, you know, Jackie, Mary, and Jane in the office, they've been, you know, dealing with more of the public on that sort of thing, but everyday questions and, and things like that. We had an uptick obviously with the mailing of the first uh, commitment of the motor vehicle excise bills. Yeah. But other than that, and then the second commitment's been delayed. There was a little glitch from the uh, RMV uh, with uh, places of garaging. So we ended up getting quite a few bills uh, from Marshfield and other surrounding towns uh, for whatever reason. So they're trying to fix that glitch so it won't be in the next commitment. So there's going to be a delay on that, but it's the first commitment's about a million seven. So that's the, the you know, 90% of our uh, excise revenues. But it, I guess there's probably no walk-ins. Uh, I don't see anyone trying to get in our meeting. 
I think at this point, if there's no more new business, anybody, Steve, anybody? I'm no? good. I think then we can take a uh, motion to move into executive session. And again, this board will not return to open session. So, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Steve, aye. Todd, aye. Okay. So then.